everybody, another quick one for you today. There were some questions about our process doing DIY concrete, and I happen to have the answers. So I've cut together a little video for you, answering some questions about that, and then afterwards we'll catch you up on Nick's process with the mudroom. It's a big footer, and the reason why we ended up with a big footer is uh, for cross bracing reasons. Um, it helps the cross section of the shop, the sort of A-frame looking shape in that direction, it helps racking this way and that. So the engineer that I consulted with um, proposed a two foot six by three foot six by one foot thick footer at the bottom of each of these piers. And that uh, is aligned in the short direction of the building to help uh, with that racking issue. Um, that'll keep things really nice and clear on the inside of the shop, meaning I won't have cross braces coming into the usable space. We are um, pouring these ourselves. We're not having a concrete truck come in. It just made sense to us to do it as we could afford it. The um, cost per yard of concrete um, is comparable, you know, buying it bagged to having it delivered way out to where we live. Um, but uh, doing it just two bags at a time or really one buying it one pallet at a time, um, it was a reasonable size chunk for us to bite off at any given time. So each, uh, each footer got uh, for about 14 bags of concrete that turns out to be seven batches uh, in the mixer uh, It took you know, maybe an hour and change for each footer I was able to use my laser level uh, Because this the shop isn't huge. It's 40 feet from uh, the furthest uh, from corner to corner so I'm able to set up my laser level somewhere in the middle and, um, and choose a line that I want the top of the piers to end up at. And, and this seemed like the easiest way to me to get it to um, all end up in the right place. I would shoot a laser line across all of those form boxes, scribe that line and actually cut the box to the line so that I know that if I fill that all the way up to the top with concrete and screed it clean across the top of there, then they're all gonna be at the same height. In the top of each of these um, piers is a big 3 8 steel plate, and that's what I'm gonna end up welding these uh, posts to when we raise the frame. Uh, so those have some rebar hooks welded to the bottom of them so that they're embedded in concrete they're tied directly into um, that pier and the, and the reinforcement of that pier. Um, and I can dependably weld to that and know that it's all gonna be one thing in the end. These go in right at the end after I fill it all the way to the top. I jiggle it on in there and get it down sitting flush. I even used a board across, screwed across the formwork to push it down so that I know that it's flush with the top of that formwork. If I had it to do again, I don't know exactly what I would do differently. I might go with a larger um, cement mixer, but I really didn't mind the physical labor of, of doing that work. Um, I prefer knowing what goes into it, um, or at least I prefer uh, sort of contributing my own my own energy my own calories into um, the work uh, above just uh, paying somebody to truck that material in um, it's it's good for me to see a direct relationship between uh, hours spent and how my body feels to the result um, it's, it gets more convoluted and harder to assess when you translate your work into money and then your money into somebody else's work. So um, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to uh, sort of figure that out and 
and see which of the projects um, I'm willing to do in that way. And now I have a really good sense of what size project is doable with a little cement mixer like that and what isn't. So moving forward, say when we build our bedroom addition um, off of the house, that's probably not a job that I'll pull off by myself uh, with plywood and a cement mixer. Um, but, you know, um, there's a lot of other concrete jobs that we are fully capable of, of doing here. So one of these goes on there. It's made like this. Oh, are you welding that? I'm welding that. And I'm welding one of these onto it. Like that. 